Thank you for being patient. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for being patient. I understand uh, we're, we're running a little bit late here. Um, so today I'm going to call uh, the special meeting of council for February 25th, 2021 at 8 a.m. to order. Uh, it is 821. And again, my apologies for the tardiness. Um, but let's jump right in. Uh, are there any added items to the agenda? Seeing none, I take motion to accept the, the, the agenda. Councillor Overwater. Yes, I move to accept the agenda. Special meeting June 25th at um, oh, just June 25th. Perfect. Any questions, comments, concerns? Seeing none, I'll call the votes. All in favor? And opposed? That motion is carried. All right. Um, unfortunately, after sitting waiting for 20 minutes, we're going to have to move into a closed session to begin with. Uh, so I'll take a motion for that. Uh, who would like to make that motion? Councillor Blatz. Thank you, Worship. I move that we go into closed session under Section 5 business conducted in a closed session under FOIP as follows FOIP Section 16, FOIP Section 25, and FOIP Section 27. We'll need all of council, uh, Director Wagstaff and Director Linderman, CAO Merritt and um, Legislative Clerk um, McKinnon will stay with us as well. Um, any questions, comments, concerns regarding that motion? Yes, Councillor Overwater. Do we not have um, our communications person, Monica uh, Leather? It doesn't look like we do, no. Monica's not in uh, the meeting, so she's not here. Oh. I, I thought she was going to be, but apparently she's not. So, all right. Any other questions? Seeing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor and opposed? That motion is carried. Um, just for the members of the public, there's uh, uh, two ways that you can continue in today's meeting uh, when we go into a closed session. First is you may click on leave the meeting button and leave the meeting and watch our Town of Olds website and our Facebook page for live updates as to when council will return. Administration will post the meeting time that will reconvene and the meeting attendees will be able to rejoin at that time. Or you can stay online in the virtual meeting platform and administration will move you into the waiting room. And when council has finished its closed meeting, we will again uh, signal what time we'll be coming back into regular session and you'll be allowed back into the meeting session, regular session at that point in time. So at this point in time, uh, Mr. Fox, if we could put uh, everybody of the public into a uh, waiting room, we'll get going on our closed session. Good. Excellent. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Thank you for uh, being patient with us through our closed sessions. Um, we do have two resolutions that we're going to vote on um, uh, this morning. So at this point in time, uh, we have a, a resolution regarding Olds Institute and Olds Fiber. Uh, who would like to make that resolution? Councillor Overwater. Thank you, Bishop. Uh, just bear with me. It is a very long resolution. So um... Yep. I will try and get it through as fast as I can. Resolution, Town of Olds re regarding Olds Institute and Olds Fiber. Whereas, A, the Town of Olds, the town has provided financial support to Olds Institute for community and regional development, Olds Institute. In the creation of the Olds Connected Community Network, also known as OCCN, and the creation and operations of Olds, Olds Fiber Limited, Olds Fiber and its services to town residents and businesses and surrounding area, ONET, in the form of secured loans and guarantee a bank and debit indebtedness yes. of approximately $18 million. B, the town became increasingly concerned that the pursuit of other and alternative financing or funding for the operations of OCCN and ONET by either Olds Institute or Olds Fiber represented increased risk to the town as the primary secured lender, as well as risk to the communities and individuals from whom additional financing or funding was sought. C, due to the level of debt carried by the town to facilitate the financial supports, 
the debt limit that is imposed upon the town under provincial legislation, the financial support for OCCN network has placed significant constraint on current and long-term planning for the town of Olds. In May 2020, the town required that Olds Institute and Olds Fiber pursue opportunities for other investment or sale in order to reduce the risks to the town and residents and relieve in whole or in part the financial debt limit burden carried by the town. Pursuant to the town's loan and security agreements in place, the town issued a forbearance agreement in favor of Olds Institute and Olds Fiber in May of 2020 to permit a reasonable amount of time and opportunity for Olds Institute and Olds Fiber to pursue opportunities for other investment or sale before requiring repayment of the town loans. The forbearance periods have been extended three times in order to continue to provide reasonable time period and opportunities. E. Concurrent with the forbearance agreement through the town's legal counsel, the town retained BDO Canada Limited as a financial advisor to review the financial positions of Olds Institute and Olds Fiber and provide advice as to the current abilities of and future prospects for Olds Institute and Olds Fiber to substantially reduce the outstanding loans and financial assistance provided by the town. F. The financial advisor's assessment confirmed that the success in the long-term financial viability of the operation of the OCCN and ONET is dependent upon expansion of services beyond the town's boundaries and or dependent upon significant new capital investment and all still subject to substantial delays in generating the necessary revenues from such expansions none of which the town was willing or financially able to provide, absorb, or carry. G, the town created a broadband investment committee in order to receive information and updates from Olds Institute and Olds Fiber to receive the recommendations of the town's financial advisor and legal counsel, and to make recommendations to town council as to decisions in relation to the administration of the town's investment in and, this, and in and support of the OCCN and OCCH. Despite the time and opportunities provided, Olds Institute and Olds Fiber have been unable to generate interest or offers that would be capable of satisfying the town's need for substantial reduction or elimination of the town financial supports for the OCCN and ONET. I, in order to allow the town to continue to support the OCCN and ONET, and in order to continue to support and ensure the operation and delivery of services, and on the basis of recommendations and advice received, the town has determined that the ownership and control of OCCN and ONET and other assets and operations of Olds Institute and Olds Fiber must be reorganized for the purposes of continued operations and eventual marketing and sale. Now, therefore, be it resolved that, one, the recommendations of the Broadband Investment Committee, together with the recommendations of the town's financial advisor and legal counsel, be accepted by council. Two, the period of forbearance under the forbearance agreement with Olds Institute and Olds Fiber shall not be renewed or extended any further. Three, the town's legal counsel are directed to proceed with the seeking of the appointment of a receiver and receiver manager of Olds Institute with a view to seeking a reorganization of assets and operations for the purposes of continued operation under a town controlled corporation and potential marketing and sale of assets. Four, for clarity, the receivership sought by the town will not include an appointment of a receiver and or receiver manager of Olds Fiber. So to ensure the continued operation of ONET with minimal disruption or impact. Excellent. Thank you very much, Councillor Overwater. Um, now, are there any questions with regards to that resolution? All right. Uh, yes, Councillor Thompson. Perhaps a statement, uh, Your Worship. Uh, at this point in our in our discussion. I, I have not received the documentation uh, to uh, afford me the knowledge and information that the town's financial advisor or legal counsel have provided. 
I have not participated in these discussions, nor received a, a full report on the findings. Um, at this juncture, I do not feel confident that I've received the information to vote on this matter. And I'd like to ask uh, uh, Ms. McKinnon uh, what options I have uh, uh, in, in this debate for um, removing myself. I do not feel informed. Okay. Ms. McKinnon, or would that be more appropriate to Mr. Merritt? Hi, it's Marcy. Mm -hmm. I guess if the counselor felt he needed to recuse himself for his personal reasons, and that would be his first call, his second call could be to request a deferral from council. Your worship, I would like to request a deferral from council until I can be properly informed on this matter. The deferral from council is just an absentation of voting. Is that correct, Ms. McKinney? Pardon, sorry. Can you explain the deferral from council? I guess my um, suggestion would be that he's requesting that this decision that council is has on the floor be deferred. So it would be a deferral of the motion on the floor. Okay. He would be requesting that as a motion and council would have to vote on that. Okay, all right. Uh, all right, so we have a motion on the, yes, Councillor Thompson? Yes, Your Worship, I would like to move that this matter be deferred, the decision be deferred for 30 days until such time as uh, adequate reporting can be provided to all members of council. Okay. Um, Councillor Overwater. Thank you, Your Worship. I guess the, uh, you know, it should be stated clearly that uh, the reason why Councillor Thompson was not involved in any of the broadband investment committee meetings was because he was uh, sanctioned due to uh, some uh, uh, inappropriate uh, comments that were made throughout uh, his, his term thus far. So, and also being the executive of Old Institute also complicated the situation. So that is why uh, Councillor Thompson was not involved in any of those discussions. And um, so I, I mean, I guess you, you had the update uh, that uh, the mayor gave you today and I can understand why you don't feel that you can vote on it, but um, I think uh, I'm certainly prepared to make a vote, make a motion on accepting this here. Thank you, Councillor Overwater. Councillor Thompson. Okay, I just wanna clarify one of those statements. So I don't believe that I have, have um, made comments untoward throughout my term on council. I, I believe I, I was, I did receive a single sanction. And um, um, again, I, I dispute um, some of the things, but um, I, I accepted the lumps. So thank you. Okay. All right, so uh, we do have a motion on the table to defer uh, uh, this decision for 30 days. So unless there's any other questions or comments or concerns, uh, we will vote on that. Um, all in favor and opposed. And that motion is defeated. All right, so we'll go back to the resolution that uh, we have read into the record. Um, we do have that on the table as well. And uh, at this point in time, is there any comments, questions, concerns regarding that motion? Councillor Thompson. Uh, so, so your worship, based on the the resolution that uh, I've just just seen and and heard at the same time as everyone else, it would appear as though Olds Fiber Limited, operating as ONET, um, it suggests is going to be unencumbered. However, the uh, the parent corporation, the Olds Institute, will be uh, placed in receivership. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. okay, and based on the information provided in the um, the motion that we're voting upon, it appears as though the Olds Institute is being placed into receivership uh, because the town is concerned with the level of security it has in place for the operations of Olds Fiber Limited. Correct. 
Um, I don't know if I could boil it down to that one point. There's many, many reasons. Uh, they were stated throughout the resolution. Please, please expand on any other reasons you feel are not stated. Well, there's uh, a list of, of reasons that were read into the whereas of the resolution beforehand. Those are the, those are the reasons why. Thank you. All right, any other questions or comments? Seeing none, I'll call the vote. All in favor and opposed. And that motion carries. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. Let's move along to our next resolution uh, regarding a public hearing. Who would like to make that resolution? Councillor Blatt. Thank you, Your Worship. And I'm going to be reading here from screen, so bear with me, please. Will Sean be sharing this as well? I believe so. Okay, resolution, Town of Olds. Regarding the public hearing for the acquisition of shares of Olds Fiber Limited OFL and conversion of OFL into a municipally controlled corporation. Whereas A, pursuant to resolution, allowing the, the appointment of a receiver and receiver manager of Olds Institute for Community and Regional Development, Olds Institute, <coughs> excuse me, and Olds Fiber Lim Limited, Olds Fiber, for the purpose of seeking a reorganization of assets and operations of the same. The town of Olds, the municipality, wishes to acquire all shares of the Olds Fiber, a corporation incorporated pursuant to the Business Corporations Act, the BCA, from the share from the sole shareholder Olds Institute. B. The purpose of the acquisition for all of the shares of Oles Fiber by the municipality is to ensure one, continuity, sorry, and quality in the provision of fiber optic internet services to the residents and businesses of the municipality and surrounding service, services areas. Two, acquisition of the Oles Connected Community Network currently owned by the Oles Institute. Three, ownership and proper operation and maintenance of the Oles Connected Community Network. Four, acquisition of the Mountain View Power Assets and Operations of Oles Institute and five, the proper operation and delivery of products and services of the Mountain View Power Assets and Operations. C, acquisition of all the shares of Oles Fiber by the municipality will effectively change the nature of Oles Fiber into a municipally controlled corporation and MCC pursuant to both the terms of Division 9 of Part 3 of the Municipal Government Act, the MGA, and the Municipally Controlled Corporation Regulation, the MCC Reg, a municipality may only obtain and control cor a corporation incorporated pursuant to the BCA if certain preliminary steps are taken, which include the consideration of a business plan. D. The Council of the Municipality wishes to comply with all the obligations under the MGA and the MCC reg to obtain control of Oles Fiber through the acquisition of all the shares in Oles Fiber and convert Oles Fiber into an MCC. Be it resolved that the municipality shall provide notice of intention to hold a public hearing on July 26, 2021 as at 1 p.m. in the Council Chambers at 4512 46th Street in Olds, Alberta, as required by section 75.1, 75.5, 230, and 606 of the Municipal Government Act. And section three of the Municipally Controlled Corporation Regulation, as this draft notice of intention to hold the public hearing prior to obtaining control of Olds Fiber by acquiring all the shares of the same and converting Olds Fiber into a municipally owned corporation, MCC. Thank you very much, Councillor Blatt. All right, so we have uh, a resolution on the floor. Would uh, anybody have any questions, comments, or concerns? Councillor Thompson. Yes, Your Worship. I wonder if you're prepared at this time to advise the community of the legal costs for this matter. Uh, or the costs related to employing the financial advisor. It's my understanding that uh, ONET at the time of this um, juncture, when uh, things started to go this direction, 
was not in default. Can you can you answer to that? Um, not at this point in time. We uh, are not prepared to that. We don't have um, the final number on those, and when that becomes available, it will be made public. Would that be shared in the public hearing? I'm not sure as this will go past that. So um, we may be able to have a, a at date. We'll uh, consult with legal on that issue. Thank you for raising Ms. it. Mr. Mayor had his hand up. Your yes, worship. Mr. No, the mayor uh, addressed it in his last comment that legal will be consulted in regards to it because advice uh, is information. And so it's um, not something we can disclose at this point in time. Yep. Yes, Councillor Thompson. Uh, Your Worship, can you can you advise as to why the the old institute is being bankrupted instead of Old Fiber Limited? We will be. Uh, we have a meeting planned. Uh, Eleven minutes ago, it was to start with OFL and OI, and uh, we'll tie this meeting up really quickly, and uh, we will be chatting with them directly. But Your Worship, I, I hope we would take the time to have a full debate here and share that information publicly if it is available. Okay, that's, uh, it, it will come in due course. Okay, all right, any other questions, comments, concerns before we hold the vote? I will do just that, call the vote, all in favor and opposed. All right, that motion carries. Thank you very much, everybody. I believe that brings us to the end of our agenda today. Uh, unless there's anything else, I'd uh, entertain a motion for adjournment. Uh, Councillor Harper. Motion to adjourn. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, questions, comments, concerns? Seeing none, I'll call the vote. All in favor? And opposed? Motion is carried. We are adjourned. Thank you very much, everybody.